from the red carpet to the firing line, several movie actors and directors who are in Austin for the Fantastic Fest getting a little taste of reality today. A hands-on weapons demonstration taking place in Liberty Hill in Fox 7, Trudy Kosky was there for it all. Rudy? Hi, Laureate. It was something to see, and usually it's firepower that's reserved for police officers and soldiers, but today we saw a couple of Hollywood shooting stars here in Liberty Hill. It was a chance for these stars and actors and movie directors to get a chance to experience the real thing. Elijah Wood and Dominic Monaghan were part of a field trip organized by the Austin Fantastic Fest. That's a film festival going on here in the capital city. The setting for this adventure, though, was up in Liberty Hill at the best of the West Texas shooting range. You'll remember these two actors. They worked together in the Lord of the Rings trilogy where they packed swords, not heat. Wood told me that he talked Dominic into coming to Austin this year for the festival. And at the range, both took aim and unloaded at the targets this afternoon. The trip offered them a learning experience, but mostly it was all about having some fun. I think I would probably go to these guys if I was training for something specific for a role. You know, these guys are all military or ex-military, and, and I think this would be a pretty amazing place to do proper training if you had to play a role like that. Yeah, more than anything else, it's just a little bit of fun, you know. I'm not super gung-ho about killing anything that's living, but I, I like kind of target practice stuff, and for me it's just more like a, a really immersive video game, you know. A very loud video game. Dominic has a movie playing here tonight during the festival that he co-produced and appears in. Elijah, he's currently starring in a quirky FX TV series called Wilford, and that's beginning its second season. Now, of course, these two guys know all about movie magic, but the trainers that they are with today, they're part of a real world, a real world that's becoming even more dangerous, which is why their client list is growing. Be certain of your target, what's in front of it, and what's in behind it. Kent Morrison knows a thing or two about high-powered weapons. We take this the safety very seriously. After serving more than a decade in the Navy, Morrison now has a company specializing in executive protection, self-defense training, and investigations. Business is booming. The reality is the world can be, and sometimes is, a harsh and an ugly place. And this gives people a chance to prepare for it, to develop the mindset for it, to develop some training to handle the, the harshness that we sometimes are faced with. Today our targets are a bunch of cardboard silhouettes. Morrison doesn't hold large classes. He prefers smaller gatherings and individual personalized instruction. So, see, that's, that's a safe position. An uptick in criminal activity usually increases gun sales and the enrollment into self-defense classes. A knee-jerk reaction from a somewhat complacent society that Morrison would like to change. There's a, a very famous trainer that says, if you look like food, you will get eaten. For Morrison, he's not teaching aggression, just providing clients with confidence. I think people need to, to get a wake-up call and, and learn how to handle life themselves. I like that advice. Don't be food. Look, you don't have to, if you don't want to, go and take a gun class for self-defense. You can also, there's a lot of different other avenues you can take. Martial arts, those type of programs. A lot of community centers put these self-defense classes on free. It just takes you to ask, where are they? Go find them and do them. Find the one that's most comfortable for you. Live in Liberty Hill, I'm Rudy Kosky, Fox 7 News Edge.